I've been in ministry in church for probably half my life as a youth pastor, as a worship leader. And I'm really hurt in my heart for some of the things that I'm not hearing as much. Some of the things I don't hear as much these days are, I really want to start a ministry that pours into children. What I'm starting to hear more is, we really want to find a church that has a good ministry for kids. One thing I, I don't hear very much is, is I want to see my church awaken in their worship and I'm going to lead out with my worship. What I'm hearing instead is we want to go find a church that has passionate worship. I feel like instead of building church, now we're shopping for church. We're going to go find the one that meets us right where we want it, that makes us the most comfortable. We don't want to be preached at. We want to be loved. We want to be told the good news um, because it's a hard, dark world out there. But what I'm finding is our churches are getting more and more comfortable for the few that are inside and less and less appealing to the ones that are outside. And I, I guess I should just say from the start that this isn't a song that says that uh, words on the screen and worship are bad and worship bands are bad. Um, I don't think any of that's bad. I think those things are good. I go to a church that has a worship band and we have our words on the screen and we're online and there are so many ways to get to us. But the day that that becomes our goal is to create a look and a feel instead of knowing that only the power of God will save people, then we're in trouble. And I feel like as a church, we're beginning to try to make ourselves more comfortable instead of walking out where it's totally uncomfortable and loving a hurting dark world where they are. And I think one of the signs that we know we've become comfortable is when we start getting mad at the world for being lost. Say it out loud to yourself and see if it makes sense. I'm mad at lost people for sinning makes no sense but we find ourselves in our churches in our little worlds and we're tweeting out our, our our hearts cry and telling everyone else what they need to do better when really all god ever said about the world was they need me but he had a lot to say about his people he said if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves if they will seek my face if they will turn from their wicked ways then I'll hear from heaven, then I'll forgive their sin, then I will heal their land. The world changing is not gonna happen in the White House. The world changing is not gonna happen if we make the right laws and keep everybody in line. The world changes when Jesus changes it. And Jesus changes the world through us. We're it, we're the hands and the feet, and it's time to step out of our walls and get out there and love a world that really needs it. But it's gotta start here. Here.